Ooh. Yes, it's one of the greatest fights in the history of this fine sport. Well, probably not. But anyway, I'm here to tell you why it's mega and to get you all frothy for it. Strap in for an epic battle. It's Ski versus Swims. 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 Sorry, not Ski. It's KSI. Yes, real name JJ Olatunda Dunje. He's a professional boxer, apparently. So yes, anyway, KSI versus Swamp. Now, if you don't know who the ferocious iron-fisted Swamps is, then I am about to tell you. He's the... Uh... Oh, fuck knows. I think he sings or something. So there you go. He don't get no harder than that. Singers have always been considered hard as nails. They are naturally born brawlers. Just look at them. Gary Barlow. H from Steps. Absolute nutters. Let's be honest, you wouldn't fuck with Elton John, would you? Because you don't want that smoke, as the kids say. You land a solid uppercut and Elton would just say... Because Elton loves to take the piss. But anyway, Swims is not just a singer, he's a delivery driver. Now these people are a different breed of toughness. Delivering chicken dippers in the pouring rain at night, on their bicycles, for about a pound an hour. Absolute warriors. And why else is this bloke a ferocious opponent? Because he doesn't conform. Everyone these days, they get their top off. They flaunt their nips to try to be hard. But we all know that the very hardest people keep their tops on, like Swung here. They said to him, take your top off, Swalls, but he said, no, warriors don't do that. I bought this top from the Primark sale for £4 with my hard-earned deliver -roo money. That's a week's wages for me. It's staying on, so get fucked. And hurry up, I've got a delivery from Chicken Cottage to pick up in an hour. And this is why it will be Ski's toughest opponent. And they do not like each other. But what's brought on this beef? Well, I'll tell you. Apparently they made a successful song together and Swamp never showed up to Ski's gigs to perform it. Yes, typical Swamps and his wily ways. It's not the first time we've heard of two great boxers having this kind of altercation. This is a replica of Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis. How could we ever forget when Mike Tyson used to sing with Lennox in the choir? Then Lennox started missing practice. Tyson's beautiful voice fell apart. His falsetto was all over the fucking shop and he couldn't hit the notes that Lennox could hit in the chorus. It all kicked off, and the rest is history. So there we are. Make sure you witness this legacy-defining fight and buy the pay-per-view Barnstormer on Saturday the 27th of August. But don't expect your chicken chow mean to be delivered on time that night because Swaz is busy till about 11pm. Just make yourself an egg sandwich and stop fucking complaining. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and check out my other channel, This Is Proper. Bring it on, Bosh.